Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and it's time for another first look, this time at Hardland by Mountain Sheep Incorporated. It is in early access on Steam, so the game is by no means complete yet, but it is an open world RPG where your goal and the story is, there is no goal or story. Do whatever you want, whenever you want, to whomever you want. You will die, and when you die, the world will reset. You'll be back to where basically where you started from. So dying is something you generally don't want to do, so take your time, play it safe, and be cautious but have fun with it because there is no goal there is no direction in the game you do whatever it is that you want to do excuse me guys I was getting a little parts there so that being said we're gonna hop in and actually see some of the gameplay and not just ramble on and on and on as I tend to do as I said the game is not complete yet so here is the percentages done thus far they feel that the game is about 36 percent done they do updates fairly frequently and the updates always seem to bring quite a bit of change and quite a bit of good with it. Then here are the training grounds basically teach you how to play the game and all the other wonderful fun stuff. So there's the percentages done and we're going to hop in and we're going to generate a new world. And yeah, the game's quite fun. You can talk to just about anyone in town and some of them will have quests for you. Some of them will want items and all sorts of fun, crazy stuff like that. There are mobs that are randomly spawned all over the world that you can just go to and murder or try to murder. You can pick up most loot that you'll see on the creatures, which is always nice. And here we are. We are laying on the ground. Apparently we started with a hat on our head and at full health, which is a rarity. But we are here. So we have a mask, basically, right now. Basically we have this chicken mask on. And I don't really want to start with the chicken mask, so we're just going to run out with our wooden uh, sword. Not our wooden spoon, but our wooden sword as our weapon. And here we are. We are this lovely bearded gentleman. He is super sexy and ready to go. And we're just going to head right out of town. I mean, I, I guess I'll wander through town to let you guys see. You can jump. You can sprint, obviously. If you left click, you swing your sword. If you hold it, you hold the swing until you're ready to release it. So you basically preload your attack, if you will. You can hit barrels, you can pick stuff up, you can even pick people up, which is weird, by the way. See, look, I am just carrying this guy around for absolutely no reason. It's a little strange, I realize, but it's fine. So you can do that, and most people you pick up and you turn them sideways, and you know, here we go, like this guy. You can just kind of walk around with him and be like, what's up? Oh, and you know what else? Oh, with, heh, with him, he, he, we, he's technically armor, I'm sorry, guys, I was kind of, I was kind of getting a little confused, it's like, with him, we technically have armor, and with him, he is armor. I, I don't know, it's fine. There is some eggplants here. And I am going to move this out of our way. And I am going to pick up the eggplant, and there it is. We have an eggplant. Ooh, we have a small key and some cabbage. Oh, there's an apple. We're going to eat the cabbage. And we're going to pick up the apple, pick up another apple, and we're actually going to head out of town, so... I'll show you guys you can talk to people. Complete quest. Hey, I want eggplant. Give me some. Here you go. I just received 107 gold. Well, thanks for the weapon. That was an egg, an eggplant's a weapon, apparently. Who knew? It's not a weapon. That guy doesn't know better, but, eh, you know, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to know better. All right, so the world randomly generates. As you walk, you'll see vegetation coming to life and trees growing and stuff. It's a little bit weird at first, but I actually like it. I think it's kind of a cool feature, and it didn't used to be that way. It used to be like... If I recall, there were really, really long load times at the beginning, but the whole world was just like, basically, boom, the whole world's done, and then you just dealt with whatever came. Now the world slowly generates over time, and as you walk around and do stuff, you get to reveal more and more of it. So we're going to come over here and get stuck in this little stupid alcove of trees, because I have super navigational skills. Oh, and there's our first enemy that we have come across. You can also pretty much one-shot you at any point. If you see in the back there, the real fat big dude, he's a goblin-like king, and you really don't want to mess with him because he's a bad Juju Magumbo. Now, it's going to take us a very, very long time to kill the ghoul because the ghoul is, well, he's relatively powerful. He's pretty easy to dodge, but his hits are really, really nasty. You do not want to get hit by this guy. If he swings at you, get out of the way. That's all I can suggest to you. Do not try to man fight him. It will not work well for you. Just, he swings, you move. And that's basically how combat works. You just try to find a sweet spot where you can hit him, he cannot hit you, and then you attack. Sometimes it's better to just wait for him to attack, you know, bait out his attack, and then move out of the way, like so, and then go back in and start swinging on him. 
Fortunately, our stamina is a little low. I'm going to wait it out until we have more. There it is. It's coming back. Let's smack a few more times. And we are slowly killing him. He's one of the easier guys to kill, but again, if you get overconfident and you get too cocky, you're going to pay for it because he will hit you and then you will die. And dying is really, really bad in this game because, as I mentioned, at least I think I mentioned, it is permanent. When you die, the world will reset and you will start back at the beginning with your level 1 character and everything that you did was undone. Now the good news is that means you kinda know the layout of the world, you know where you want to go, what you want to do. You can redo any of the stuff you did before. Alright, so this guy with the torch seems to not want to deal with us. In fact, he is running very, very, very fast. He seems to be afraid of us. I don't really know why, but hey, I won't, I won't complain if he wants to run and let us just beat on him slowly here. It's sometimes hard to kill. I've never had anybody just just flat out run from me before. Huh. Well, I guess we'll build our stamina back up and then we'll just kill this little booger. There we go. We took him out. He dropped a torch. Oh, that pig wants our, our flesh, though. So I'm going to run away from the pig because I don't want to deal with him. Oh, look, this dude's like, Ah, no, don't hurt me. I'm a goblin. So I'm going to try to murder this goblin too. He might actually... Yeah, he's going to turn and swing on us there. He did not land the attack though, so that's good. He does seem to be afraid of us, which works out in our favor. And a steel sword has been dropped. I don't believe we're strong enough to use the steel sword yet. So we're going to open up our inventory. Our inventory is unlimited, so we can carry a tremendous amount of stuff. We apparently got hurt pretty bad by that guy at one point. The steel sword is level 3, so unfortunately we can't use it, but we do have a small key, and we do have a torch, which requires level 2. So that's a bit unfortunate. We are going to put an apple in our left hand, and then we have to eat it with our right mouse button there. It's it's kind of, I don't know, I don't particularly like it, but it works. Now this guy, I don't think, can attack, so you get to sit here and swing on him for days, but it's going to take forever, considering how much health he is, or how much health he has, and how little bit of damage you do. This is kind of the way he works. Alright, I do not have a large key, so I cannot open that. However, there is a cabbage, and I am apparently too tired to lift a piece of cabbage. There we go, we shall eat it. It shall give us a little bit more health. Not a tremendous amount. It is starting to get dark out, folks. When it becomes night, it's a pretty cool transition period. I actually like it a lot. I really enjoy the way they did it, but it's not quite time yet. Oh, I thought it was getting dark. Maybe it's just the area that I'm in. Ah, yes, the dark forest. I did not look to see what that was. Alright, well those look like some undead up there, and I don't know if we're strong enough yet to deal with them. We have 78 out of 300 experience until our next level. And even at our next level, all we can do is use torches. Let's try Let's try to beat up some, some of these forgotten zombie dudes. I've never actually fought these guys before. I don't know what they're going to offer or what they're going to bring to the table. But as it stands right now, I'm not super impressed. They were pretty easy to deal with, and then all their limbs fell off. That's pretty neat. So, gotta say, I like that a lot. Alright, we're just going to go crazy on these guys. Now, our stamina's a bit low. I'm going to probably walk it off until I can have a decent chunk of stamina, and it is becoming nighttime now for realsies instead of just for fakesies. And eventually, we should be able to beat this guy to death. There it is. He has been beaten to death again. Unfortunately, no loot on them because they're just, I guess, random zombies or forgotten. And there it is, nighttime. We are now lit by the moon. Everything is in shadows. And I gotta say, I really, really like the way they decided to address the nighttime in this game. I also like the fact that this guy is different than the last two that we killed. So he looks quite different. And he actually landed an attack, which made me a little bit sad. But again, all of his limbs flew off and... I really didn't gain much from it, so not super great, but not super terrible either. We're getting a little closer on uh, experience to leveling up, at which point we can use the torch. We're going to eat another apple right there, and we're going to come over here and see if we can't beat some more of these guys to, to being limbless. Hey dude, what's up man? How's it going? Ah, find you a magic book. I, I don't think that's going to happen, buddy, but if it did... I would totally give it to you, man. Just saying. This guy seems to really, really want to hit us pretty badly, but it's just not going to happen. I refuse to be hit by this guy. Sorry, I just flat out refuse. Down he goes. A little tiny bit more experience. I, I don't feel like we're gaining much out of killing these guys. They're like the easiest people in the entire game to kill me. Oh, he hit me pretty good. 
Alright, and down he goes. Yeah, we're getting like 20 experience per. And we're pretty low on health, so I'm gonna go see if I can't find myself some food over here back at town. Oh, Snow Peak. Is this a good guy, a bad guy? What is he? He is a merchant. He has no supplies, though. Well, not much of a merchant, if you ask me. Um, another merchant. No supplies. Again, not great. And it's very possible that supplies might be coming in future... Ooh, here we go. Give me some of that watermelon, and it dropped pieces of watermelon. What? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sir. I apologize. I thought you were a watermelon. Apparently there's a very, very small fence there. We're going to hit this barrel, pick up another watermelon, eat it, and then, of course, pick up the pieces. I guess I can smack... Oh, oh no, I hit a chicken. Oh, the chickens are angry. The chickens want my blood. Alright, chicken is dead. Chicken number two is ironically trying to fight me. This is, uh... I don't know why I keep spinning back the other way. And, oh, look at him juking and jiving me. No wonder I get beat up by zombies and things. I'm too tired to lift a cabbage now. It's just too much work. It's like, it, it's too heavy. Can't lift cabbage. So we'll have some of the worst breath and the nastiest farts at this point. But boy, oh boy, are we healthy. All right, let's see if we can't tangle with some skeletons, maybe. That might be a beneficial move. Especially with them attacking townsmen. Well, they seem to... They're after a chicken themselves. Okay, and what this dude with the big hammer here is chasing them down as well. So, uh-oh. Oh, no. I don't want the glowy-eyed one. I want the one with the axe. I hope I didn't hit the... Oh, I reached level 2 because they killed something. Totally knew I could do that. Yeah. Ow, I just got hit in the back of the head. Oh gosh, that hurt so bad. Are they after me? What? I think they are. Okay, no they're not. Oh, I'm so scared there. I'm like, oh, what are they doing? This is not going to end well for me. Alright, so we got a skull. There's a barrel. We're going to drop that. Unfortunately, we can't pick up that breastplate. And we're going to throw down the barrel of potatoes, I guess this is. Yeah, we're going to eat some, or pick up some potatoes, I guess. We're not going to be able to eat them, unfortunately. But it looks like I'm going to go back to that watermelon thing, because that was much better for me, I feel. So that was up over here somewhere, right? Let me get back up in here and see if we can't find the, the watermelon barrels. Yeah, I think it's right over here by this giant grouping of cabbage. The watermelon barrel will get away, or...? Hmm... Oh, we found a small key. Excellent. We got some cabbage there. We'll read some sign. Now, I tried to do this earlier, folks, and I gotta tell you, I, I, was, I was bringing the suck. I'm not gonna lie. I died several times. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just... I died a lot. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna be 100% honest. It was, it was pretty embarrassing. Alright, let's see what we actually got out of that fight. So we got... A large axe, can't use that to level 6, which kind of sucks a lot. But we do have two small keys, we got our torch, we're level 2 now, so we're going to swap that over. And we're going to whip out, I guess, a potato, maybe some pieces of watermelon. Unfortunately, yeah, this is the way you have to heal when you don't actually get stuff that just goes immediately into your hand, like a full-size watermelon. Um, I would like to find more watermelon pieces of, ooh, maybe a pumpkin. Yeah, can we eat the pumpkin? No, oh, can we smash the pumpkin? Nope, can't do that either, huh? Alright, well there's a lot of cabbage just laying on the ground here. I guess we're just going to continue to eat that up. We're going to have some nasty, nasty diarrhea, folks. Nasty, nasty diarrhea. I don't know. I, I, I've i had cabbage a few times. It's okay, it's not my favorite, but, it, you know, it's edible. Some people are like, oh, cabbage is the most disgusting thing ever. I don't know, there, there are some vegetables I really don't like, but... For the most part, I'm not a vegetable hater. I, I don't hate veggies. I do enjoy my meat, though. I mean, meat is a delicious thing. It's not often that I meet adventurers. I will not give you a full helmet, even if I had one. Because you already have an amazing hat. I've got nothing. This dude's like carrying a wagon wheel. What in the heck? Alright, folks. We're going to continue to explore. Like I said, this is open world. Just do whatever the heck it is you want to do and have fun with it. So, 
We're gonna do just that. There's another giant army of undead folk over here. There's an empty bucket as well. I would like it if I could find maybe like a small encampment of skeletons that are spread out. And see if I can't get some loot from them. Oh, there's water. I've never actually made it to the water before. So every time you generate a new world, it's obviously going to be different from the other worlds that you've played on in the past. Now there's a couple skeletons here. And I can't say that I hate... Oh, this dude's got some giant blue hammer. I'm a big fan of blue things, but this guy looks like he's pretty large. And I... Oh gosh. Oh, he almost hit me. He is a skeletal champion, and I am pretty certain that it's going to take me a very long period of time to kill him. So what I'm going to do instead is try to retreat from him and maybe fight this guy. Because he's got a cool looking shield and he's got like a breastplate. And he's like closer to my size so I feel like maybe I can actually win this fight with him. Oh there we go. I thought I put the torch in my inventory. Did I not switch to my torch? There it is. Okay, now we got our torch. Alright, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I got a torch, buddy. I will light you up, man. Get lit up! I hear somebody shooting, too. There's, like, gunfire in the background. I definitely hear it. That or I'm actually being shot at in real life, and then I should be concerned. Oh, I see the guys behind the rock over there shooting stuff. He's like, I will kill you, troublemaker! Not sure if he's talking to me or the skeleton. I'd like to think he's talking to the skeleton, but there's no way to be absolutely certain. Oh, we just got wrecked. Ow, that did not feel good. Stop running! Eh, there it is. Alright, so we got ourselves a shield and a sword that we can't use yet because of reasons. And let's... Oh, oh, this guy's like, guess what, buddy? You want to kill my friend? I'm going to take you out. Alright, so the sword is for level 3. We're getting closer to it. We can use this shield, though. So we shall do it. And I don't believe he had a hat of any type, so no. No hat. Oh, we got a sugar wand that we can't use either. Just sweet, sweet, nice, I guess, if you're into using sugar as a spell. I mean, go the power of teeth rot! And, oh, oh, yeah, you better run. Yeah, you're getting just destroyed. Yeah! Give me that hat. What? Another sword, a skull, another shield. Alright, now I'm pretty sure we can put the hat on, so we will do that right now. And it's funny because the hat's like super oversized. Look at that. We're like in there, but like. Our head doesn't even sort of fill. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no! Oh, a blunderbuss! I have never picked up a blunderbuss before. Oh gosh! There's so much stuff over there I want in my inventory right now. Alright, can we use the blunderbuss? Level 3, we're close. We can almost use the blunderbuss. Swing at us so we can go back and get fat loots. And I said good day, sir! I just threw a... a chicken puppet at him. Hey, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm gonna eat this cake right now. Oh, I thought I was gonna eat the cake. Oh, it's a voodoo skull. Well, that's creepy. It looked like a piece of cake. See, guys? The cake is a lie. The cake is always always a lie. There it is. The cake was delicious. Alright, there's all sorts of stuff. That dude died big time. This guy is like, I'm angry. Oh, we got some ham and some cheese and all sorts of stuff. Alright, I drank a small exotic drink. I don't know what that did for me. Also, I don't know where my, my individual ended up at. There's a horn, there's a bluefish, a tiny health potion, all sorts of stuff. Look at this stuff. There's loot everywhere, just mad loot. Treasure chest? Let's go take it over here and see what it does. Where did it go? Oh, I dropped it back there somehow. We do not have a silver key, but I mean, he dropped everything else. I don't know why he wouldn't have dropped the key. What do you want? I want you to get away from this guy's body so I can pick up all his loot. Ooh, a Cinnabon. What? Candle holder, a potato. Ooh, a shield. An eggplant. A cannon. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, but that's pretty cool. Alright, so we don't know what happened to our... Oh, oh there's a sword. A western sword there, too. A boiling pot or an empty pot. Another watermelon. A croissant. A croissant. Steel. Oh man, so much stuff. Whoever that dude, whoever that guy was, it's just, ooh, he was amazing. You see that? He just wrecked everybody that was over here. Including the dude with a shield. Alright, so this wizard's here now, but I don't want to talk to him. I don't know where that big skeleton went. 
I'm ready to do battle with him again, I think. Let's take a look at what we have. Um, we got quite a few things. We have quite a few shields. Um, some potions. That, what's a loot? A loot is a, I know it's a stringed instrument. A merchant hat. Eh, don't really want to do that. A pickle. We have a pickle, folks. Uh, a roll. A roll? Ooh, it's good for baking. Oh, oh, sweet. We have no weapon in our hand right now either. I guess our torch burned out or something. I don't know. Steel hammer is five, three, seven, three. Wooden sword, yellow pepper. Wooden sp <laughs> a wooden spoon, highly effective versus soup. It's awesome. All right, a western sword for level two. That is a sweet, sweet knives. All right, we have a real weapon now. We might actually be able to do something to somebody now. No way to be absolutely certain, but our blunderbuss is ready to come up too. Zombies! No! Oh, I upset them a lot. Look at them, they're like, ANGRY! I have like the torch in my shield hand somehow? I don't... I don't really know how that works, but... Oh, you think you're forgotten, huh? I didn't forget. Yeah, you're done. Where's this guy? Come on, come on, come on, biggies. What you got, buddy? You ain't got nothing. That's right. Oh, yeah. Feel that western sword up beside your head. Oh, look at your big old swing. Big slow swing. Stand right here. I didn't have to move out of the way. Oh, gosh. Almost died there. That would have probably one hit killed me. That would have been nasty. All right, well, we're not going over there. We are definitely not going over there. All right, we're real close. We're real, real close to leveling up. Uh, I don't want to deal with the pig either. I have a real hard time with those guys. They're really fast. That makes me scared. I don't like the... The torch isn't really in my... Oh, it is. Huh. It's in my hand. Hand. Okay. And the shield goes on my arm. Oh, okay. Cool. I was unaware of that being a possibility. Yeah, oh, 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 nope. Nope, not gonna hit me. Oh, he's swinging. Swinging for the fences, but we've left the field, man. There ain't nothing. I swing all day long, buddy. And level three. I don't care about the zombie brains. I care about his couple gold coins that he usually has. And that's it. Now it's time for us to just, just to rock out with our blunderbuss, see what that's all about. Here we go. Boom get wrecked. Now, can we aim this thing? How does it work? Oh, we just shoot at it. Oh, that's awesome. And it looks like it does, like, burn damage or something. Alright, well, I'm ready to... Oh, that's hard to aim. Huh. Okay, well, let's see if we can't take out uh, a guy in the distance, then, because... Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. I removed his head, but now I don't I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, we killed him. Oh, we're so amazing. Do you see that folks? Never got to play with the blunderbuss before. I, I just didn't find one. I found uh, actually quite a few weapons. I even found some of these blue glowing weapons that were like level seven. That was amazing, but yeah, I never found a blunderbuss before. Let's see if I can't do some damage to this guy. Oh gosh, oh there's a skeleton right in front of me. They're definitely not designed for close range combat, I got to say. Alright, so it's nighttime again. Again, I don't feel like I can actually... Whoa, where did that go? I feel like being able to aim this a little bit better... Oh, that was amazing. Might be cool. But as it stands right now, you don't have a super great way of aiming. There's like no crosshairs. There's no, like, hold the right mouse button and aim. You just left-click and hope for the best. Like, I don't even know what it was doing there. It was, like, bounce... Like, it's deflecting off of him or something. Ah. Uh -huh. Like, what, what was that? What happened there? It uses a lot of her stamina, too. Maybe that's part of what's going on. I don't have the stamina to actually hit him. Or the stamina to hold my ground when I fire. Oh! That was amazing, folks. I'm sorry, Blunderbuss is cool. I mean, you're sure you're gonna have to kite around a little bit, but... 
I mean, the good definitely outweighs the bad here. So the goal for me for this first look was to pretty much show you what's going on with the game, and I think you guys have a pretty good idea that you can just wander around and murder stuff and have fun with it. If you die, you do start over from the beginning. So what I'm going to attempt to do is I'll probably do one more episode with this particular guy, and then I'm going to wait till the next rendition comes out, the next uh, iteration of the game, the next build, if you will, and see what's changed and kind of showcase that. Uh, maybe I'll actually go do some more missions, figure out a little bit more with uh, the towns, you know, do some quests and stuff, and hopefully find some more amazing gear. But yeah, right now the blunderbuss is definitely awesome. Our uh, torch apparently we can use while having a shield, because our shield goes on our arm and our torch apparently goes in hand. Yeah, I gotta say, some pretty cool stuff. Let's take a look at our inventory right now, and I wanted to see, can we... Can we throw an eastern sword into our... No, we can't, into our offhand. But we could put it over here. Oh, well, that's cool. That's really cool. And then what was that? There was some sort of hammer, a glowing hammer of death or something. Um, let's see if we can figure out what that was. It should be a really long name. It should be easy to see, too. Oh, well, big ice hammer. It's not that... Whoa, level 16? Oh my gosh, it does 800 plus damage? Oh my goodness. So, folks, as you can see, it doesn't matter what level you are. You can still, if you play it right, you play it well enough, and you're good at dodging and timing your attacks and everything else, you can kill stuff way, way over your level and get some really, really nice experience. Some really good loot for the future, and, yeah, I gotta say, I definitely give my thumbs up to this game. It looks like it's going to be absolutely outstanding and completely amazing when it is complete. It's already quite fun to play. I already sank about three hours or four hours into the game as is. And I definitely plan to do a bit more than that before all is said and done. And by a bit more, I mean a lot more than that. Oh! Oh, we just blew our armor off. Oh, that, that's dangerous. Maybe I shouldn't use a blunderbuss. Wow, we just murdered our shield, knocked our helmet off, and just, wow, we wrecked ourselves there. That was not pleasant. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do now, we'll try to kill that big dude over there, and then that's where we're going to break off this episode. I I'm afraid I'm going to hit that... Is that a... He's headless. Fast Valen. Oh, uh, don't hit me. Oh, he killed him. Oh, he's a boss. Look at our headless dude over here. He just went up and wrecked this guy. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we just got, like, a town guard helmet. Oh, we, apparently we're strong enough to pick up rocks now. Surprise! So as you level up, folks, you will get stronger. And then I think you can sell most of the stuff that you pick up to various people. Hey there, have you seen my head? No, I can't say that I did. Let's talk to him. A goblin captain helmet small. That's what he really wants. I think any kind of helmet or head at this point would be pretty good for you too, dude. This guy's carrying another guy. This is pretty funny. Watch this. We can carry the guy carrying the guy. Ta-da! Alright, so we're just going to drop them all off, folks. So I think that's just about going to do it. I'm going to see if I can get into one more fight. Maybe I'll go melee with it and see what equipment we actually can use here. Um, let's throw our eastern helmet back. Oh, we got a, like a pretty cool helmet. Wasn't it something with a V? No? Town guard helmet. That's not bad. I thought we got some other kind of helmet as well. Let's take a look see if I can't see anything. Merchant hat, ice wand of whatever that says. Um, no, I guess not. I thought for sure there was one more helmet. Maybe it was just something that we looted? I don't know. I must just be missing it. I'm probably blind, folks. I don't blame you for probably screaming at the screen going, You passed it like seven times! I wouldn't doubt it at all. I would not put that past me in any way, shape, or form. We're going to go with... Um, Level 3 now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We can go with a steel sword now. We'll replace our blunderbuss, and there we are. Oh, that, that actually fits us. Okay. So the guard helmet is actually on point with our head shape. So we can use that to be somewhat amazing. We can chop down these things. I don't think we can get anything out of it, but it's still fun to do. It's always fun. The environment is almost all destructible, which is a really cool thing. And you see we have... 780 out of 700 armor. Means we're missing a little bit, but we will go in here and I will. I'm not sure what they're running from. Is this like a bad guy that's chasing them? Jimmy the Killer. 
He does seem like a bad guy. All right, well, we've saved him from Jimmy the Killer. So I'm going to go charge into combat, folks, as we break off the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. I will continue this at some point, folks. I'm going to do a little bit more with this particular character. So you guys can see the continuation in the future here. We're going to try to avoid getting murdered while I'm finishing my outro. And that's going to do it for this episode. As I said, I'm going to follow the development of the game. And, well, you guys should see quite a bit more of Hardland before it finally releases. And I hope that you guys like what you see. Until the next time, folks, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.